Just open, flip the switch, and then put it back on. Alright, the uh, power reset and LED switches, those are easy to do. You just take uh, right up here and just put it through the top hole, pull it out the bottom hole, right down there, it comes out, and then just hook them right up. Just check your motherboard manual to see where each little one goes. Alright, for the rear fan, um, behind the motherboard it comes out right there, you can't even see it. Behind the motherboard to the back, it's right there. The top fan up there goes down there. There's also up top, right? I think it's, I don't know which one's which, but these two are those. The front fans are, connections are down here. Uh, speed, uh, the variable speed switch for the bottom uh, front fan. It's the only one I could reach out here. I don't change my fan speeds much, so it doesn't matter to me. The back fans. Speed controller item resting on the top right there. Just pokes over. The fan for or the fan speed controller thing for the top fan I've resting up here. You can't really see well. Yikes. Up there. That's just sitting on top. I think my my USB cable is resting on top, so it sits up there. Got the uh, graphics card in and. Uh, doing the graphics card power is really easy. You bend this into a really good U shape. You can tuck that and loop it around so it's kind of hidden behind the cord. All right. The most farther, the farthest to the left little plug thing is my PCI Express power. I took it and it goes down there to the little tie thing. It's hard to see it. Little tie thing that you can put your cords in and pull it, pull it shut so they stay tied together. I put it in there and get, put it, made it a U shape and you can see there it is inside the little tie right there. I just push it up really good into the computer so it's barely got any going to the graphics card and anything from the power supply is pulled up. Making the bottom look like that. Alright, the case is now done. I'm just going to go around and just show you what everything looks like up close on the inside. Putting the, uh, alright, I got the uh, graphics card in, and uh, doing the graphics card power is really easy. You bend this into a really good U shape. You can tuck that and loop it around so it's kind of hidden behind the cord. Alright, the most farther, the farthest to the left little plug thing is my PCI Express power. I took it, and it goes down there to the little tie thing, it's hard to see it, the little tie thing that you can put your cords in and pull it, pull it shut so they stay tied together. I put it in there and get, put it, made it a U shape and you can see there it is inside the little tie right there. I just push it up really good into the computer so it's barely got any going to the graphics card. And anything from the power supplies pulled up. 
making the bottom look like that. Okay, here we have the uh, finished back view, pretty much what it looks like. Uh, it's kind of messy and disorganized, but I actually know where everything is and how everything's set up, where it goes, so yeah, it works out for me. That's where I don't know where shit goes, right there. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Let's worry about my computer cable management right now. Um, up here is where it's kind of the thickest, but surprisingly the case still closed just fine. I just finished all the uh, cable management. I got it all plugged in, the lights on. Uh, let's start it up. Alright, right now I have a uh, hardware monitor open. I just want to show you my temperatures. Right now I've got a uh, Duo 6300. I just overclocked for fun. I got it at a uh, whatever you call it, 3 gigahertz right now stable and my idle is 30, 34, 33 it's a pretty good idle lowest idle 28, 33, max I haven't put any load on it, all I've done is <laughs> like downloaded some stuff and moved some stuff around so it's not really that high uh, this is actually how blue my case is without even my cathodes on Clean ass bottom, the sides can't really see. Let's turn on my light. My easy access light from the back. I don't really like this extra lights, it makes it too bright. Maybe you can see that. It's all bundled up going through that one hole. Completely clean middle section right there. And then that. The top's a little messy, but I mean, uh, I can't do much with those wires. Actually, I could. I could hide uh, fan switches a little better. But uh, that's all I need to do for now. And that can uh, that concludes my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know it's pretty long and boring, but if you're trying to tidy up your Antec 900 case with the stock holes, this is how you do it. I'll see you guys later.